Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about where versus dynamic in c -sharp. These two are important keywords for defining the variable. In this video, we'll learn what where and dynamic keywords are, how and when to use them in a program. Finally, we will discuss the differences between these two. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Where keyword in C-sharp. Before indulging ourselves to learn about the differences between where and dynamic keywords, we first learn what where and dynamic keywords are. So start with where. Where is a keyword that is used to declare a variable without specifying the .NET type explicitly. Where variables are called implicitly typed local variables. Why it is called implicitly typed local variables? Because the type of variable is automatically inferred at compiled time by the compiler from the value used to initialize the variable. And the infer type could be, it could be built-in type or anonymous type or user-defined type or type defined in the .NET framework class library. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples on over here. Here what I have done, I have written where i is equal to 5, where s is equal to learn and joy, where d is equal to 5.5, where numbers is equal to new int array 5, 10, 15. If you see, the right hand side after the equal operator, I have written some value and based on the value, this i data type or s data type or d data type or number data type are going to get derived. Okay, so if you see here 5, so 5 belongs to the int category. So i variable of the int data type would be. So compile time equivalent, it will convert it to int i is equal to 5. Similarly, learn and joy belongs to the string category. It while time equivalent, it will be a string s is equal to learn and joy. Similarly, double d is equal to 5.5, int array numbers is equal to new int 5, 10, 15. So based on the value, it is going to derive what the data type would be. Okay, if you see, I have written i is equal to Ravi. And Ravi belongs to the string category. And here I have assigned i is equal to 5. 5 belongs to the int category. So when this statement got executed, this i variable Defined as the in data type. Here, what I am trying to do, I am just assigning a string value to the in data type. So that time it is just going to throw the error because compiler can't implicitly convert type a string to int, right? So basically, compiler will not create the type of variable again because it, it has already created of in data type of i variable, right? So if you write like this, we will end up getting an error. Okay. Now if you see where a here what I have done, I have just declared the variable, but I have not initialized it. So this statement is going to produce an error because we have not initialized it. Okay. Now where b is equal to null, we cannot assign null value to with where variable. So this is also not allowed. So if you write like this, we will end up getting an error. Here what I am trying to do, where c is equal to 1, 2, 3, here I am trying to assign the collection initializers to the c variable of with where type. So it is also not allowed. Here where g is equal to a goes to a plus 1. So basically I have written the lambda expression and assigning into the g variable of where type. So it is not allowed because this lambda expression does not have a type. Similarly, what I am doing e plus plus. I have written e plus plus and initializers cannot refer to the variable itself. This is also not allowed. So these statements are not allowed. So whenever we are going to declare any variable with where keyword, we need to keep some rule in mind. First rule is we need to declare and initialize at the same time. The infer type could be built-in type or anonymous type, user-defined type or type defined in the .NET FCL. Once we assign first time, after that, if we are going to assign that variable with the different type, it will throw the error. Because compiler cannot implicitly convert from one type to another type. If we are going to use this where dynamic in C sharp. Dynamic is a keyword that is used to declare a variable for avoiding compiled time type checking. Type check happens at runtime by the compiler. This concept was introduced in C sharp 4.0. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples on over here. I have written dynamic p is equal to 5. So basically, dynamic keywords are not going to check at the compiled time. So compile time equivalent is object p is equal to 5. So this 5 is belongs to the int category, but we have assigned as an object. Instead of 5, if you write abc, it is also going to assign for the object because this actual type is not going to get derived at the compile time. Okay. And if you try to print this thing, console write line p dot get type, 
So at the runtime, we are going to get this value system dot in 32 because the P belongs to the int data type, right? So it got printed system dot in 32. Similarly, I am just writing dynamic I. Here, what I have done, I have declared this I variable, but I have not initialized it. It's valid to write with the dynamic keyword. And here in the second statement, I am just assigning value 5 to it. It's a valid to write. I mean, the declaration and initialization, we can separate whenever we are going to use the dynamic keyword for declaring a variable. Now, if you see P is equal to learn and joy. And if you see here, dynamic P is equal to 5. I have already assigned value 5 to P at this statement. And here, I'm just writing P is equal to learn and joy. This is the in data type. Here is it is a string data type. But it is valid to write because this dynamic type check is happen at the runtime. At the runtime, whatever the value that we are going to assign based on then it is going to get derived. So here, if we are going to assign five value, so this five belongs to the int category. If you are going to print it, it is just going to print system dot in 32. If you are assigning learn and joy as in a string to the P variable, so it is from the string category. And if you are going to write type for this, in console window, we are going to get system dot string data type. Another important point is we can use dynamic keyword for the return type also. If you see this method, I have written my method in text here dynamic result. So dynamic result is basically a local variable of this method. And what I'm doing, I'm just checking if x is less than 10, then result is equal to x, else result convert to to a string into x. Basically, this statement x is going to return as the end data type and here string data type. Okay, so whatever the outcome based on the x value, we are going to return as a result. So we need to write like this and it's valid because dynamic, it is going to get evaluated at the runtime. So even though we are not aware about that, what value is going to get returned for this method, we can use dynamic safely. So that's the benefit of the dynamic keyword in C. -shirt. Okay, let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. So here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the var and dynamic. For that, what I have done, I have created one console application var versus dynamic demo. And it has program.cs file. In program.cs file, there is a class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. Here, what I'm doing, I'm just printing this statement var and dynamic demo into console window because I'm just giving the demo of the var and dynamic demo. So here in the next statement, I'm printing var conceptual interpretation because I'm just going to give some examples of the var keyword, how we are going to declare and derive the value. So for that purpose, I have written this statement. So here, if you see line number 13, var i is equal to 5. So here, what I have done, I have assigned 5 value to i. So, and similarly, where s is equal to learn and joy, where d is equal to 5.5, where numbers is equal to new int array 5, 10, 15. So if you see the right hand side of the different type, this 5 belongs to the int category, learn and joy belongs to the string category, 5.5 belongs to the double category, and this one is the array category. So if you are going to print this value of i, s, d, and numbers, we are going to get the actual type that is going to get derived from this value at the compiled time. Okay. So i dot get type dot to a string we will be getting, s dot get type to a string we will be getting, d dot get type to a string we will be getting the actual type of i, s, d and numbers accordingly, right? Now, if you see this statement, I have written var a and I have commented this. If I uncomment this, so it is just going to show the error. What is the error? It is saying that implicitly type variable must be initialized. So the variable a is declared but never used. So there are two errors. A I have not used, so that is okay. But here the first error it says implicitly type variable must be initialized. Here what I have done, I have just declared that but I have not initialized it. So it is just going to throw the error. So let me comment this. So compile time error due to no initialization. And if you write like this, where b is equal to null, so here also it is just throw the error. It is saying they cannot assign null to an implicitly type variable because this where, where is nothing but the implicitly type variable b and I am assigning null value to it. So basically null is not allowed for the where type. So I am just comment this one. And now if you uncomment this line, i is equal to Ravi. So here also it is giving us the error. What error it says? It says cannot implicitly convert type a string to it. Why? Because if you see, this is the a string category. And already I have assigned pi value to i. At the first statement itself, line number 13, right? So here compiler cannot implicitly convert a string value to int. And that's what this error is coming. 
so compiler will not create the type of the variable again right so that's what this statement if you write then we will be getting an error so let me comment this now i have told you that i'm just going to print the actual type of these variable based on the value that we have assigned okay so we'll be getting that error getting that all the messages when we are going to execute this program now if you see dynamic conceptual interpretation here what i am doing i am just assigning dynamic p is equal to 5 so here i have assigned the value 5 to p and if you are going to print when p type when p is equal to 5 we will be getting system dot in 32 because 5 belongs to the int category right so when we are going to print those things it will get printed at the runtime system dot in 32 okay now if you see i have assigned p is equal to learn and joy and this is the dynamic p variable here i have not declared i have just assigned the value to it but it's valid to write because this runtime only it is just going to derive based on the value what it is assigned to it right so here string value i have assigned to the p variable so recreation of the type of variable allowed when we are going to use this dynamic key it's very very important we need to keep in mind okay now here i have written p type when p is learn and joy learn and joy nothing but the string text that i am storing into the p variable and what value we are storing in those things i just want to see the actual type of that so when we print this statement we will be getting system dot string we will see once we execute this program another example if you see dynamic j here i have not initialized the j value but it's valid to write because declaration can be written without initialization for the dynamic keyword okay so we could write like something like this also and it's valid dynamic j and j is equal to subscribe learn and enjoy channel right it's just valid to write so what i'm doing now i'm just printing j type when j is subscribe learn and enjoy so j dot get type dot is true string so basically it is just going to return the value of the system dot string type now i'm just printing the value of the j j value is assigned to the subscribe learn and enjoy so this j value is going to get printed now i have assigned j is int value previously i have assigned a string value now i am assigning the int value to it and when i am printing j dot get type dot to a string so it will give us system dot in 32 similarly now here in line number 43 what i am doing i am just assigning the boolean value to it j is equal to true so this when we are going to print it then we will be getting system dot boolean data type now if you see i am just calling this my method what is the my method my method is this one where we have return type as a dynamic it is going to accept int variable so dynamic is also a local variable of this method dynamic result and here if x is less than 10 then this result is equal to x so this result will be having this value of x right so this this one is going to consider as a x and x belongs to the int category now in else part if x is not less than 10 then it is coming to the else part then what i'm doing i'm just converting this into the string and then returning this result value so this dynamic basically we are defining as a return type and it's valid to write because in this method based on the input we are going to decide whether it should be in data type as a result or whether it should be a string data type of result because we are not aware what result data type would be right so in that place we are going to use this dynamic keyword because dynamic the runtime only whatever the value we are going to return based on that it is just going to get derived that is the benefit of writing this dynamic keyword over here okay so here what i am doing i am just calling this method my method and i am passing the six value to it okay if six then this x is less than six yes then result is equal to x and this result is going to return so basically we are going to int data type for the dynamic right so outcome we are going to store as a in data type and then when we are going to uh, print this outcome dot get type then we will be getting system dot in 32 similarly if you am going to call this my method 20 here i am just passing the 20 value to it this method so this else part would get executed so here we are converting x to a string and then we are returning it so here this outcome will be having of a string data type okay so when we are printing this outcome dot get type we will be getting system dot string data type okay let me execute this and show this output to you okay so output got up here into this console window if you see where and dynamic domain got printed where conceptual interpretation got printed i type 
it belongs to system dot in 32 s type belongs to system dot a string d type belongs to s system dot double numbers type belongs to system dot in 32 and how it got printed it is going to get derived from the value that we are assigning to these variables okay so here it is a 5 5 belongs to the in 32 so it got printed system dot in 32 similarly s i have assigned the string then system dot string here i have assigned the double value then it's just printed system dot double and here this is nothing but the array so I got print system dot in 32 because this is the int array so system dot in 32 array we are we are getting that okay now if you see here dynamic right in dynamic if you am assigning p is equal to 5 right when p type when p is equal to 5 so here I have already written when p type when p is equal to 5 then it is just going to print system dot in 32 p type when p is learn and joy learn joy belongs to the string category then is printed system dot string j type when j is subscribed learn and joy basically this is also a string then it got printed system dot string j value what the value j is having it got printed subscribe learn and joy j type when j is int value then system dot in 32 j type when j is true true belongs to the boolean category right so system dot boolean got printed and here i'm just printing system dot in 32 and system dot string 32 how it got printed because i'm just calling this method my method 6 right and it is just returning this x x nothing but the int so this int data type it got printed then this value is going to print as a system dot in 32 that's what this statement system dot in 32 got printed and the next statement when we are calling this my method 20 then this 20 basically we are converting x to the string and then we are returning so this is nothing but the string category right so when we are printing this outcome dot get type we will be getting this value as a system dot string and that's what it got printed so that's the demo of the where and dynamic where versus dynamic in c sharp now we have understood the basic of where and dynamic keyword so let's observe the difference between these two Number one, where is introduced in C sharp 3.0, whereas dynamic is introduced in C sharp 4.0. If we try to use dynamic keyword in the below version, we would end up getting errors. Number two, the type of the variable defined by the where keyword is decided at the compile time by the compiler, so it is early bounded. On the other hand, the type of the variable defined by the dynamic keyword is decided at the run time by the compiler, so it is late bounded. Number three, declaration and initialization should happen at the same time if we use where for variable. But with the dynamic, variable initialization is not required at the time as declaration. Number four, error is thrown when the where variable is not initialized, whereas no error is thrown when the dynamic variable is not initialized. Number five, where does not allow the type of the value assigned to the change after it is assigned to. What does it mean is, if we assign an integer value to a where, then we cannot assign a string value to it. This is because on assigning the integer value, it will be treated as an integer type thereafter. So thereafter, no other type of the value cannot be assigned. It's very, very important. Whenever we are going to use where, we need to initialize only one time and we are not going to reinitialize it. Even though we are going to reinitialize it, it should be of same type. It's very, very important. Okay. Whereas dynamic allows the type of the value to change after it is assigned to initially. Number six, IntelliSense help in Visual Studio is available for the where type of the variable. Whereas IntelliSense help is not available in Visual Studio for the dynamic type of the variable. Number seven, where cannot be used for properties or returning values from the function. It can only be used as a local variable in a function. Whereas dynamic can be used for properties or returning values from the function. So these are the differences between where and dynamic variable in C sharp. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video we learnt what where and dynamic keywords are in c sharp and how and when to use it in a program finally we discuss differences between them that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video